the topic we are going to discuss today is apoptosis. Apoptosis is apoptosis is the regulated process of physiological cell death in which the cells are triggered to activate the intracellular protein that lead to death of the cell. The cells have a specific time, a time of their life and also specific role to play. When their role is over, then they are bound to die. And that is a natural process. Morphologically, the cells are, uh, which are going to apoptose, they are characterized by cell shrinkage, condensation of nuclear material, fragmentation of the nucleus and cleavage of uh, DNA at internucleosomal sites. In apoptosis, generally there are no unwanted debris of the cells which have to uh, be cleared by the macrophages or the other uh, cells of the defense system. It is for maintaining the homeostasis, not in homeopiasis only, but in all the systems of the body. It results from the action of many uh, controlling proteins which are generally proteases containing cysteine and these are called caspases. Caspases uh, activate the cleave, uh, are activated after the cleavage which need uh, lead to endonuclease digestion of DNA and disintegration of the cell skeleton. When there is no DNA and there is no cell skeleton, the cell is aborted and uh, goes out of the cell count of the body. Mainly there are two major pathways which the caspases in, by which the caspases can be activated. That is through the FAS or the TNF receptors. It is the signaling method. These uh, receptors when the ligand binds to it, then the intracellular death domain that is activated. That is uh, mainly expressed in T cells uh, for apoptosis of target cells. What are the target cells? The cell which is bound to uh, die. Why it is bound to die? Because either it is damaged or it is no more needed or it has completed its work now it is no more needed by the body the second method is via the cytochrome release from the mitochondria as you know that uh, cytochrome c is the main uh, enzyme system in the mitochondria for the production of energy and uh, when the cytochrome C it leaves the mitochondria then the mitochondria become non-functional cell gets deprived of the energy and eventually dies it uh, the cytochrome C which is released from the mitochondria that binds to ABF1 which then activates the caspases it means there are two methods for caspase activation one is by the FAS or the TNF receptor method and the other is by the cytochrome release method uh, why the uh, mitochondria they release uh, cytochrome it is because when the DNA is damaged DNA is uh, out of its normal structure by some chemotherapy by some drug by some radiation then it releases a protein which is p53 this p53 is very important because it senses the level of damage in the dna if it is repairable then it can be repaired but if it is not repairable then this uh, p53 will be enhanced and will go into the cytoplasm the p53 when it enters the cytoplasm then it uh, raises the level of wax protein wax is the apoptotic protein 
or the protein which regulates the apoptosis. This packs protein it increases the release of uh, cytochrome C. P53 also shuts down the cell cycle where the P53 enhances the release of uh, cytochrome C. It also shuts the cell cycle. Why does it do so? Because uh, the cell is damaged and is its fate is for uh, death. But if it will remain in the cell cycle it will go on producing the damaged cells in the next division so its cell cycle is stopped and it stops the division of the damaged cells the level of p53 it is uh, very rigidly controlled it is not that every cell is producing p53 and cell is going to be uh, apoptosed then is there are very uh, different types of uh, proteins that protect the cells from apoptosis why they protect when the cell is going for apoptosis why the proteins are protecting because it is a balance between survival and cell death and for survival there are anti apoptotic proteins which are called PCL. PCL2 that prevents the apoptosis of the uh, cell and it is a very uh, rigid control uh, balance between the apoptotic and anti-apoptotic or BAX and PCL2 and the relative ratio of the two will determine the cell survival or cell apoptosis through the release of cytochrome C or through the fast ligand or etc. Because whether it is release of cytochrome C or it is fast ligand, both go for the uh, apoptosis through caspases. Caspases are specific proteins which are uh, meant for this purpose and their pathway is via fast ligand or via cytochrome C. You can see on the lower uh, left half of the diagram that there is PCL2. This PCL2 it is anti-apoptotic and as you can see it is controlling the uh, anti-apoptotic activity. The if BCL2 is overexpressed, what will happen? The cell will not be killed naturally. And if the caspases are overexpressed, then the cells will not uh, complete their lifespan and will be uh, killed in immaturely or without performing their function. But this uh, apoptosis is very important because it uh, prevents the cells from damaged cells, the repairable cells from uh, being in the uh, cell pool and the example is that sometimes the overexpression, sometimes the mutations, sometimes the translocations, they change the DNA in such a way that the P53 or the um, caspases or procaspases are not normally expressed. Then we come to the transcription factor and the sorry. Then we come to the transcription factor and the adhesion mode. These are the uh, factors which regulate the gene expression by controlling the transcription of specific genes or gene families. Typically, they contain at least 
two domains one is the dna binding domain such as the leucine zipper and the helix loop helix motif which binds to specific dna uh, sequence so what will happen which uh, uh, gene is impaired or damaged the uh, transcription factor proteins will bind to them and will make an activated domain which will contribute for the transcription of the complex at that gene then we come to the adhesion molecules adhesion molecules are the glycoproteins which mediate the attachment of marrow precursors because we are uh, studying it with reference to the hemopoiesis so bone marrow cells or the marrow uh, matrix that is very important that whether it will remain intact or the cells will go into the microcirculation so the adhesion molecule they mediate the attachment of marrow precursor leukocytes platelets to other various types of component and extracellular matrix as you know that platelets they work not at the site of their production uh, production but they go to the endothelium to the site of damage and then the leukocytes the, and the other white blood cells they aggregate there and perform their function in blocking the uh, damage the adhesion molecule on the receptor leukocytes are termed as receptors and they interact with the molecules target molecule uh, cells what are the target cells where they want to go for their function the adhesion molecule are mainly classified into three types of families one are the immunoglobulins other are selectins and the third is integrin immunoglobulin super family as many of you must uh, have read this before that these are uh, the receptor which react with antigens these are t cell receptors and immunoglobulins and uh, also on independent surfaces antigen independent surfaces of the adhesion molecule igg igm iga all are of the immunoglobulin adhesion molecules family selectins are involved in leukocyte and platelet adhesion why leukocyte and platelet adhesion because platelets are completely different from the other uh, hemopoietic uh, components these are cell fragments not the complete cells but they play a very special part in uh, uh, clotting the blood in uh, blocking the blood leakage from the vessels and then the leukocytes they go there to perform their immune function to clear the debris to make the scar there and um, healing the vessel so the selectins are those proteins which uh, are are mainly involved in leukocyte and platelet adhesion for the inflammation and coagulation for preventing the inflammation and coagulation integrins are involved in cell adhesion to extracellular matrix what extracellular matrix to the collagen in wound healing and leukocyte and platelet adhesion wound healing uh, you know that uh, when there is wound it means that the vessel all the walls of the vessels are cut and the bleeding is there the blood is going uh, oozing out and uh, the vessel is sheared the integrins they adhere to that part and uh, make a first they make a soft scar then they make a hard scar or a hard plug there which prevents the loss of blood from that side now uh, what happens that uh, adhesion molecules the adhesion molecule are important for the maintenance of inflammatory and immune response why if 
there is some cut, if there is some damage, if there is some accidental uh, breakage or uh, rupture of the vessel, then first there will be inflammation and then there will be uh, immune response. Inflammation is beneficial in the sense that our immune response, uh, our uh, immune system goes there, inflammation clears the debris and the cells, they collect all the unwanted material there and then the immune uh, response goes and platelet vessels and leukocyte vessel wall interaction starts which uh, repairs the damage. Expression of uh, adhesion molecule is again very intricately mediated and it is by the extracellular and intracellular factors and these by the alteration of the expression by the IL factor, interleukins, TNF, IF and T cell activation etc etc. There are many factors which control the expression of adhesion molecule because it is not sometimes if the adhesion is less than the required then it will be a pathological situation. If adhesion is more than the required uh, um, level, then again it will be a pathological condition that may make uh, a scar, a um, clot in the vessel and by without any other reason that vessel may become constricted. The adhesion molecule are important in determining in the tu um, spread of tumors in the body or their localization. If the uh, tumor cells they remain adhered um, strongly then what will happen the tumor, uh, tumor will be localized and will not go into the metastatic form but if their adherence is weak and they are not cell to cell adhered strongly then any cell which will lose its group or its cluster will circulate in the body will go to some other place and may make a new tumor there which is the metastatic stage of the uh, cancer or the tumor the Tumors which are benign generally they are localized and they may be taken out, they may be extracted in full but uh, the tumors when they become uh, ben uh, metastatic it means that they may go anywhere, may produce tumor any other place other than its basic uh, or the initial site of action. So that is all about the apoptosis and the adhesion molecule.